Look, we're coming out for a send-off this morning. We're excited that you're here. Before I share a few words with you, I'd like to introduce the president of the University of South Carolina, the first university president of the United States. Before we get going, let's just start that cheer that all of the world's going to be watching on ESPN, those four people who can't be in Omaha. It's going to go something like this. But if there was a uniform with a 28 on it, and they offered it to me, I'd be getting on the bus and going with the team. I just want to say there is uh, nothing greater than the Carolina spirit. I know the coach is going to tell you this later. There's a 10th man on the team, and it's you. So I could not be more excited to be joining the team out in Omaha. How many of you making the trip? We're going to show the world that U.S. game top spirit. So let's welcome the team. I'll turn it back to the coach with the one, two, three, go game cops. Can we? One, two, three. the baseball coach at this great university, I knew that we had great tradition. I knew we had great plans. And I knew that if we could put a pretty good team on the field, that you would make a difference in giving us an opportunity to play among the best teams in the country. And you have done that. Thank you very much. Please give us a Thank you for your enthusiasm. Thank you for your passion. Thank you for your inspiration. These guys are good players, but it makes a difference when you show up and you become that tenth man. No matter who comes in here, whether it's Oklahoma, whether it's Connecticut, or whether it's... Wilson! And maybe you lose me. You do make a difference. Don't ever think, don't ever think that you're not important. You are important to us. You're important to these guys. We're going to do the best we can, but we can't do it, and we haven't done it without you. We're extremely grateful for everything you do, for our program, and all and dignity and competitive nature like nobody else. And maybe, maybe the sun will shine on us and maybe we can just bring back another piece of art. Again, thank you for your dedication and your commitment to our program. We're honored, we always are, we're touched that you invest in us and you inspire us to do great things between the lines. I'm going to give these guys an opportunity to say a few words if they would like. First, I'll introduce Michael Ross. Yeah! Yeah! I think I'm speaking for everybody. They, they told me that I was the guy to speak. <laughs> but um, we're, we're honored that you guys are here. Uh, we love you guys. We, uh, you know, like Coach Chandler said, we couldn't do it without you guys. And you know, we're just happy we're getting the best send off in the nation uh, of any team. And you know, we claim the best facilities. We have the best fans in the nation. So it's only right we get the best send off in the nation. <laughs> So uh, we're, we're going to go out to Omaha and play our hearts off, and um, just, you know, we'll see what happens. Hopefully we'll be back in two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody else want to speak? Okay, these, these guys are kind of quiet. They talk back to me a lot, but now they won't talk to you. In closing, sir, very serious.
Leslie, thank you very much for all you do for us. It's second to none. We, we've done a lot of things in this program, but you're part of what we do every single day. And I can't tell you in just two words, thank you, that it means so much. And I hope, I hope in a few, few days, maybe 13, 14 days, we get a chance to visit again. And, uh, this is the Colonial Life Arena. We